welcome back to the channel. Um, we are doing part three today of the Bop deck. Um, it's took a while because we've had a few bits going on, but we've managed to spare a bit of time. And we're going to be changing the front bumper, rear bumper, and we've also got new lights to go with the bumper because they need changing, and also uh, smoke lights on the back. Yeah, pretty much. Um, as you can see, they're in the background. They are painted. Um, painted them up yesterday, so that'll be included in the video. Um, yeah, it's just basically front bumper, back bumper, new front lights which are clear and more modern. And we've got this clear side that keeps going as well. And I think that's going to be it in this video. So, yeah, we'll uh, get up in the air, start taking them off, and get it on time lapse. Right guys, so we're getting the uh, front bumper taken off. Uh, it's held on only by a couple of screws. Um, I think it's a couple of Phillips screws on the top, a couple of Torx bits down through the uh, wheel arches and a couple of Torx bits underneath. Same on the back bumper. I didn't film taking the back bumper off just as it was in the last video and it's just the same process. A uh, handful of screws and it all comes out. Headlights just pop out from just a it's like a sort of allen key that, that goes in there, twist it and they pop out. And then that's it, and that's the front off and the back off.
Right, okay, so the bumpers are all sanded down. I went over them with uh, 400s and 600s on the BA, and then I go over them wet and dry with 800s. Um, and then, yeah, go just down onto the first coat. Um, so you just put a nice light coat on to start with. Gives it sort of like a, a gritty um, finish on the first coat, which is something for the rest of the paint to adhere to. And then normally you get sort of two pretty good coats after that, and then you move on to lacquer. This paint, Guard Red, it is quite transparent. Um, I think I did put about I think three, three heavy coats on and two light dust coats for it to fully cover. Uh, and then just two coats of lacquer. Just got the second coat of paint on. Um, it's coming out not too bad to be fair. Still a little bit see through in places. Uh, can't find any on this one. It's a bit, it is a, bit, a little bit transparent this paint to be fair. I've done it before, uh, guard red. And it can be a little bit transparent, a bit like, just little bits like that. So it probably, I reckon, one more heavy coat and then probably be able to get the dust coats on and then some lacquer. So hopefully not too much longer because I think it's about half nine-ish now at night. So yeah, probably I reckon about another hour, hour, hour and a half. Unfortunately, I've not got a booth, I've not got a any heat so it's just a case of letting it letting it dry and then you can tack it off in between coats and get the next coat back on so yeah i'll see you shortly Okay guys, so the last coat of paint is on both bumpers. Um so it's final top drop coat, just gives it I'll see if you can see properly, gives it like a rough texture. Um so yeah, that's on. That's a bit better. Um yeah, it gives it like a, a rough texture for the final coat, and then that way it gives the lacquer something to sort of a day or two. So yeah, we are ready for lacquer. Lacquer's in the gun and it's just a case of give this five minutes to dry. We'll get it tacked off ready and then two decent coats of lacquer and we should be all sorted. Yeah. So yeah, I'll see you in a second when we're putting the lacquer on. Apologies for the, the fogginess, unfortunately the extractor fan isn't great and um, takes a little while to clear the room out. But um, it takes probably about 20 minutes between finishing that first coat and putting the second coat on. So I have plenty of time to clear out and get ready for the second coat. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
So on with the back bumper. Um, again, I didn't really film the putting on of the back bumper. It's the same again as the, the last video. Even though it's a slightly different bumper, it is exactly the same fitting points. Um, this is just a bumper off a Cooper S. Uh, not Cooper S, sorry. A Boxster S. Um, yeah, basically it's just the two little hockey sticks next to the exhaust that are different. And obviously the battle lights are different. I found out at this point, when I come to put the cover on, that the spoiler cover is actually different. Um, I didn't realise that. So, yeah, we've now got a um, Boxster S rear spoiler. Uh, that will be being painted up and fitted probably in the next video. This is also where I found out that, unfortunately, the front bumper is very different. Um, I did a quick bit of research online before fitting it, and most places were just saying it fits straight on uh, it definitely doesn't fit straight on so we've got to source a set of uh, 911 4s turbo front wings which i believe are about an inch wider and um, so yeah they i can currently we are just sourcing a set of front wings as soon as we get them we'll get them painted and we'll get the front end fully built up and actually show you the building up in depth of the front. So, we've got the bad bumper on, um, not going to plan today, quite a few differences. Yeah. <laughs> so the spoiler's different, so we need a Boxster S rear spoiler cover that follows this curve here. So, search for one of them. Um, the trim down here was really corroded, so I've just sanded that down to the bare metal and I put X primer on it for now but I haven't got any high temperature black paint to put on there so I need to get some of that paint that uh, so we've got the rear lights in they look really good smoked on the top and like LED brake lights and side lights do look a lot nicer than the original ones mm. um, I'll take you around the front I mean there's not really much to see on the front as it's just the original bumper back on right so yeah on the front as you can see it's just back to how it was so the wings are slightly different so where these sort of curve round here on the new bumper that we've got they sort of flare out a little bit there and then obviously the headlights fit into the new wings so we need to find a set of 996 4S turbo front flared wings. Um, 
So yeah, that's probably going to be in the next video now because we need to source a set of them. You said you needed the backing for the lights as well. It's the like a plastic tray that sort of yeah. sits underneath them. They go onto it and guide in. So they're slightly different as well. Um, and then the sort of bumper carrier that sits just under the lights there is ever so slightly different. So yeah, we'll gain all of them parts and they can be in the next video. But yeah, for now, it's basically just the back bumper, the back lights and the clear side repeaters that we've put in. Um, yeah, until next time when we can get the front bumper on. So it's all painted as you've seen in the video. It just doesn't line up with anything. So <laughs> yeah, um. I guess for now, uh, thanks for watching. Um, give us a like and a subscribe if you like us. And we'll be back soon with a new front end.